so this is the final look i'm rocking my pretty little thing hat obire and i'm rocking a zara shirt and earrings from misguided okay so guys i'm going to go ahead and first prep my skin with this holy hair mix and moisturizer with vitamin c brightening uh, cream uh, this i use this just because previously i had uh, I was in the sun and I just need my skin to feel pampered and then I'm going to go in ag again with my Lancome uh, day cream which has SPF because I'm going to be outside and yeah this moisturizer I use all the time and now that I've prepped my face I'm going to go in with the primer with which is the Smashbox photo finish smooth and blur uh, I use this at, in areas where I have imperfections like some bumps, uh, an upcoming, you know, pimple and everything. After uh, this, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Veil Primer. This primer has changed my whole makeup routine. I love it, I love it, I love it. Although after application, it does leave like a film, uh, like a coat, like a white coat. But I think this is perfect for the makeup. It's a game changer I love it I highly recommend so that's the white film I'm talking about uh, after priming my face as you can see I am now going in with my Lancome uh, Tint Idol foundation in uh, 540 sweat I apply my foundation lightly because you don't want to have too much foundation to have a cake of foundation as a base so I apply as little foundation as possible and as you can see I'm trying to avoid the forehead um, yeah so I avoid the forehead I'm taking little product to the forehead that will be the leftover from the brush that is what I'll be using as you can see slightly going into the forehead I don't uh, recommend putting foundation uh, too much on your forehead because usually those are the parts that get kicked up the most so uh, next I'm going to go in with my bone this way concealer this concealer also changed my makeup game yeah. uh, this is in the shade chestnut this concealer is everything it's easily blendable it's like it's full coverage and ever since I changed to this uh, concealer my foundation my makeup routine is actually lit it's bomb I love it I love it I love it um, and most people don't conceal uh, every part that I'm concealing right now but like I say to each their own and as you can see sometimes you have to let it dry first uh, so that you get a better coverage I'm going in slowly blending out with a wet uh, blender Beauty blender this is from the beauty originals and I'm just slowing down to show you how much uh, as you can see that's a smooth blend right there um, I find that with the original beauty blender you get a better blending I don't know <laughs> better blending technique than with other blenders because they were the original beauty blender gurus so yeah highly recommend that you go with originals and yes, I can see the imperfections there and I'll, I'll blend them out easily. Remember, makeup is an art. So I continue blending. Blending is a whole process. That's what takes makeup to the next level. Now, using the back of the, the same beauty blender, I'm going in to blend out those lines so that they don't leave harsh lines when it reaches time to blend out with other products. Uh, do this with the back of the beauty blender, not the same, the one that doesn't have any product. That's, what, that's the part that you should be using. So, yeah. <laughs> And yes, I forgot that my lips were looking so thirsty, so dry. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty uh, just to moisturize them. And now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Steel con the Contour Stick in Chestnut. 
and this is actually this is the beauty blender in espresso that i'm using i love this beauty oh sorry guys i'm i'm sorry i don't know what i'm talking about this is the fenty beauty contour stick in espresso i love it so much because it's e it's easily blendable like it's not harsh so you be you see as i blend that this is easy to blend and then i like contouring that part of my nose just to make my nose a little smaller i usually ha tend to have a big nose so i try to slim it down then i learned that technique of contouring around my lips from evolve victoria to make your lips pop more yeah and as i'm blending out the contour i actually realize that i forgot uh to, to apply the cream blush so here we go i'm getting my patrick ta uh blush powder and cream that is the cream part which i'm going to use this is in the shade she's so different from patrick ta i love their products uh, tip number one if you're trying to apply blush try to smile and see where where your cheeks flash that's where your blush should go so i do that and that's the part where i concentrate my blush i'm applying this and then blend it out with the blender and then later on i'll be able to set it with the powdered blush if that makes sense i'm also in the habit of con uh, uh, putting blush on the tip of my nose something i've been liking to do throughout the summer look at that blend guys the fenty beauty contour stick easily blends into my skin which i like so if you choose to go with a shade darker than what i have here you need to make sure that you're able to blend it out uh, safely Okay, now I'm going to set all the cream products I have on first with a concealer using my Laura Mercier in the shade Translucent Honey. This is their new powder which I like so much. It has also changed the game of my my makeup game like to the next level. So it's using a, a light brush and I'm tapping any excess off so that I don't you know cake up. So I use very lightly the translucent powder and set around the areas where I've, I've applied the concealer concentrating that shade just around the concealed areas and now I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Huda Beauty uh, setting powder in coffee cake uh, I love this found uh, I love this translucent powder as well and I use this around the areas where I have not put concealer so you can see I'm putting it in areas mostly that have uh, other products that are not the concealer because you don't want to take away the work that you've done in the first place and of course don't forget to dust off any excess powder next I'm going to go in again with my Laura Mercier powder in the shade translucent honey and now I'm taking more product than before because these are the parts I want to bake these are the parts I want to stand out and highlight more so as you can see I'm not putting this powder everywhere because I want the light to to shine on this particular area and then just to have that snatched contoured look I go ahead and bake this area as well going in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mami I'm going to bronze around the areas where initially I put my contour I love this and ever since I started using bronzer it's a game changer for me honestly if you want your makeup to improve you need to invest in some good products 
and I like this as well because it's easily blendable and it gives you that soft glam uh, that everyone likes these days. <laughs> it's the trending look. Again, uh, with same same with the bronzer with Fenty Beauty, I'm just going in and contouring my nose. Let me say, but more like bronzing it, and I try to extend this brush into the crease of my eye, if that makes sense, because I I'm going in for a soft glam, and that is the look that I want. I want something very subtle on the bronzer is what gives me that without going into the eyeshadows that um that are a bit harsh so going in with my james charles palette i'm going to be using these colors that are also closer to the bronzer that i've been using the reds and the pinks so going in with this orange shade sorry guys i lost the names of of the uh palette uh okay Doing my eyeshadow is actually one of the things that I still have room for improvement. Um, going in with my Sephora liner, I'm just making a small winged eye on one side of the eye and then I also go ahead and do that on the other side. You have to be very careful here. using a normal uh, dollar store black eyeliner I'm just lining my my eyes I got this back at home in Uganda off the streets and it works wonders for me dusting off the excess powder And then going back on with the beauty blender in parts where you see that okay maybe I did blend this so well you can still do that with the beauty blender going in with the uh, real techniques brush I'm going now to set the cream blush that I put on earlier with with the same blush uh, from Patrick Tash is so different Now time to work for my eyebrows. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to first brush my, this is the brow with pencil, I'm going to first brush my eyebrows. And then here I am just lining them to make sure that when I start to define them, I know where to stop and where to start. Now going in with my Bro uh, Benefits uh, powder, this is the micro filling pen that I showed in my earlier video. Look at those strands, they, are, they give you real hair like strokes and that's why I like this, um, this pencil. So you can see that I'm just going in and making hair like uh, brush strokes. So those are like hair like strokes to give me like a full eyebrow even when I don't have full full-blown eyebrows if that makes sense so it gives you a natural brow if that that's what I want and now going in with my NYX mas uh, mascara for the eyebrows I am I'm just it's like a gel so I'm just making sure that my eyebrows stay the same throughout the day and they don't move so this is perfect for me and I like that they're not so dark and they're not so light if 
that makes sense for you guys this is what I like uh, if you need any correction you can just go ahead and conceal a little because no one uses concealers anymore for uh, making eyebrows because the trend is the natural brow and now using my Morphe uh, continuous setting mist I'm going to set my face And going in with the fixed luxury eyelashes in the type dolled um, I'm going to put on my lashes I did this off camera and then curling them just a little more because I've been using these I think I've worn them for a long time and now the curl is starting to get out so I use the color to actually um, put in that extra curl and now uh, using the same shade that I used on my eyes I'm just going and lining my lower eyelid with that same shade Just the eyelid soft and now going in with my Bobbi Brown highlighter palette I'm going in and just highlighting some parts of my face that I want to uh, make them pop if that makes sense <laughs> Using the same uh, Bobbi Brown palette, I'm highlighting uh, just my cheekbones. Okay, not my cheekbones, but you know what I mean. Just a few parts that I like highlighted. Okay, so I actually put on my lip before. <laughs> I thought I was recording, so I didn't show you how I put on my lips. But I have a lip tutorial on my Instagram. You can check it out in my highlights, how I apply this lip very unique technique that I learned from Victoria Yvonne so yeah I'm rocking it all through this year so thank you guys thank you for watching and now let me just go and do my hair and then come back with a full glam look on bye so this is the final look I'm rocking my pretty little thing hat obire and I'm rocking a Zara shirt and earrings from misguided Okay, so guys, thank you for watching. In case you liked anything, let me know. In case you have any comments, please let me know. And I'll be very happy if you subscribe to my channel and let me know exactly what content you like. I like such feedback from you guys. Thank you so much. And yeah, bye. Please check out these other videos from my YouTube channel. Thank you.